How's it going YouTube and my future self? Welcome back to The Lab TCG. My name is Will and this is the January, the month of January, but in February, small business check-in. This is kind of a monthly thing that I've been doing. A little late on this one, would have liked to get this out closer to the end of January, but there's been a lot of stuff going on. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to do a monthly at this point, but more so just trying to do it whenever I can get to it and whenever I think it's going to be relevant. So a little bit of an overview before we jump into this. This is not going to be a how-to video or anything like that, although I will let you know the new tax so or uh, accounting software I'm using, but no how-to or anything. This is more so if you're interested in keeping up with what I'm doing personally and how my business is growing. Uh, what things I'm experimenting with, things I'm liking, things I'm not liking, anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what I've been working on. Then we're going to go ahead and get into January's financials and then overall feelings about how the Pokemon business is going and stuff like that. So for the first thing, what have I been working on? So you guys know that I have been doing a lot more YouTube stuff since uh, November, I guess, would have been the last time I put up a small business check-in. Lots more YouTube stuff teaching people how to sell on TCG Player, how to sort bulk, how to buy bulk, um, selling and buying cards, mainly pushing the how to run a Pokemon business. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I'm glad that I've started doing it, and it's working out pretty well. I really like it. Um, want to maybe set up a different background, more professional looking uh, camera quality and stuff like that. But for right now, just rocking with the setup that I already have as you know, the nice shelvings was a different, definitely an upgrade. Um, but I want to make more of a po push doing social media um, to advertise not only the stuff that I'm teaching, but also the storefront. And I want to start building a brand around the lab TCG. Uh, this is a little bit of a weird thing for me. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of social media. When I was playing competitive Pokemon, I had a ton of social medias for posting tournament reports, uh, deck lists, updates, stuff like that. Didn't really use it all that much um, other than promoting sponsors and stuff like that. So when COVID kind of hit and that stuff stopped, I deleted everything. I didn't have any Twitter accounts or anything like that. And since then have restarted posting stuff not like I'm not the hugest fan of social media, but I know it's incredibly important to not only grow a brand, but to grow a business. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. Uh, I am on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, um, and I'm really bad about posting every day. So I'm going to try and get better at that. That's definitely something I'm working on and also just trying to make content. I bought a GoPro as one of my business expenses for the end of year and have been starting to record just like stuff going on not necessarily commentary or anything but showing me packing bulk orders showing me unboxing bulk orders sorting cards all that stuff and uh, if you've seen the some of the more recent videos you would see that i've kind of included some of that stuff into the videos spice them up a little bit more make them more interesting and just more give you a feel of what it's like to actually run the business instead of just a talking head in front of some shelves. So I'm working on the social media stuff and I think it's gonna be important for me to grow my business um, and to move away from only selling on platforms like eBay, TCG Player, Amazon, and more so growing the brand behind the lab TCG. So that's kind of what I've been doing with social media. I need to get a lot better about posting every day for sure. Um, but if you aren't already, go ahead and follow me on all those platforms that I already mentioned and you might see some cringy TikToks out of me. I don't know, no promises. Uh, Shopify. So I did start a Shopify store. Um, I went ahead and committed to the triannual plan. It was about $783. So I now have a Shopify subscription that will renew in three years. I've committed to it. I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to kind of stick to the platforms, but this kind of ties into the social media part. Um, having your own website and your own brand is a great way to not only save on cost allow you to make some better market margins, but also get a better customer relationship um, and just sales in general. It's kind of the like something I've learned when trying to do this is the margins on sealed product is absolutely abysmal. Um, when stuff was flying high and doing really well um, during COVID, that was kind of a, or well, I mean, we're still in COVID, but mid pandemic type stuff. It was super easy to just buy boxes and flip them. I didn't do that. As you can see, I have ca uh, cases all around me just from holding on to that stuff. I had a kind of an issue with selling it, but it was super easy to make money on profit or on sealed product back then. Now it is completely changed. It's not the same at all. It's back to what it was before the pandemic started where you're making $5. You're even losing money on booster boxes depending on the set at this point. So having a brand offering sales, email marketing, 
um, building a customer base and customer obsession in that aspect. I think it's extremely important and I want to move in that direction so I'm not just another seller on eBay or TCG Player or Amazon, that there's actually a brand behind what's going on and that I can de deliver what I have to offer to customers. Uh, in addition to that, having a storefront that people recognize is very good for acquiring collections and bulk. So it kind of takes a little bit of the grunt work of like messaging people or posting on Facebook groups hey, I'm looking to buy this. And it, like, if you have people that are buying product from you and opening said product, then they have bulk and then the bulk gets sold. And you kind of create this flywheel of provide value to the customer. The customer sells you items, you rinse, repeat, and then it keeps going. So that's kind of the objective there. And I think Shopify is a great platform. Not only can you build your own site, but you can also use Shopify's backend to uh, organize inventory you have all the custom shipping stuff set up. You can also list on the other platforms I've been talking about. If you use Binder POS, which is not something I'm using at the moment, you can list a bunch of stuff like singles wise and kind of import TCG player onto Shopify, which I think is kind of neat. I'm not 100% sure how that works. I haven't used it, but it's an option in the future if I get there. But yeah, working with distributors, sourcing products and then putting them on Shopify is something you want to do and more so build up um, that brand behind the lab TCG and not just be another eBay seller. Um, in addition to that, the bulk, or, uh, yeah, so the bulk business has been slowing. Um, transitioning topics into bulk, December, November, October, to be expected, bulk prices were through the roof. It was very easy to, for me to make 300 to 400% profit on bulk that I was buying and then selling. It has since completely changed, and now it's closer to 80 to 90% profit. And it takes a lot of effort to process bulk, and the time committed versus the return is still worth it, but it's definitely tedious and isn't as great. Uh, bulk prices also fell down, and I was buying bulk prices at the old rate. So I've kind of hit like a little standstill in the bulk business. It's made a lot of profit, but now I need to kind of rethink how I'm doing that going forward. Um, also, I had an experience where I bought a bunch of bulk, it came damaged, and it was just kind of a mess of a situation, and I really didn't like that. So I'm starting to think that trying to source bulk locally exclusively is might be better and remove some of the headache there. In addition to that, I personally do not want to be the one making bulk lots all the time. I do have a W-2 job still that takes up 40 to 60 hours of my week, depending on the circumstances there and for me to be making bulk lots consistently is extremely tedious in addition to what I'm already doing there and I would much rather be packaging sealed product or like sourcing inventory than actually doing that part so I've been looking to try and outsource that uh, work I do have someone that is working with me on making those lots and uh, shipping them for me We'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys updated. If that is something that's successful, I'll make a video on how you can kind of provide value for someone else to help you with your own business, um, contractors, all that type of stuff. So that's something that I definitely am interested in making content about, and I want to see how it goes. Right now, all the units are ready to go. It's just the process of getting them to where they need to be. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys posted there. But that's kind of that. Um, going to be bulk buying bulk starting now really so if you have any bulk that you want to offload the labtcg.com go to the sell us your bulk tab fill out that information let me know and i can get you all paid out for bulk that you may or may not have but yeah overall the bulk business has definitely slowed from where it was uh during the q4 which is to be expected but it's a different game and it's much more grindy so not having as much fun as i was with it but i do have a revenue target this year uh, now that we're jumping into the financials, I do have a revenue target. The goal for this year is to do $75,000 in revenue. Now, I know that's not profit. I think that the more experience that I have doing this type of business will allow me to project profit numbers better. But since this is only about a year and a half, two years into the business, I will still want to stick with the revenue targets. And right now, the goal is $75,000 in revenue. So far, I've done about $9,000 in revenue on Amazon. So as long as I can keep that pace throughout the year, I think it's going to be its a good goal. Don't get me wrong. I definitely have to stay on the ball. But $75,000 revenue for the year across any platforms that I'm selling on is what we're doing for 2022. So with that...
Let's go ahead and jump into January's financials. Also, uh, I don't have an affiliate or anything for this. This is just a software that I found browsing YouTube. I am using a new accounting software. I was previously using QuickBooks Online, but I didn't like that I was getting charged $20, $30 a month just to mess around with my uh, transactions log every couple weeks, every week, depending on how consistent I was about it. But uh, Wave Accounting, if you look up Wave Accounting in Google, or I can leave a link to it in the description, this is a great thing. You can link up all your business checking accounts, credit cards, all that stuff into this. And it basically does what QuickBooks Online does, but for free. Uh, it's very important to know a decent bit about accounting and how all that stuff works. Or if you don't know anything about that, contact a CPA or a bookkeeper to do that stuff for you. But uh, basically, you, it logs all your transactions, and then you would go in and log them as, excuse me, cost of goods sold, sales, business expense, all that stuff. And it will tell you about your business and basically keep stuff in track. So for the month of January, I ended the year with a cash on hand balance of about 1800 And then since then, this would be everything, or started the year with that, and then this would be everything since. So... From January 1st to today is February 8th, 2022. Uh, this is the amount of money that has hit my business checking account. This would not be the sales on the platform. So uh, I did $2,690.23 on Square. Now, Square is the current website host of the labtcg.com, which is redirected to the labtcg.square.site. This is all Brilliant Stars pre-orders, and then there was one order that was like Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Voltage. If you're watching this video, thank you so much for ordering from my store. I'm hoping that the Brilliant Stars stuff goes smoothly. I'm hearing a little bit of rumors of delays. Haven't got anything like that yet, but here's to hoping that goes well. Um, and I'm going to wait till after the Brilliant Stars pre-orders are all said and done until we transition to Shopify. So right now, the Square site did 2.6K in sales just on Brilliant Stars pre-orders. Um, a big shout out to Danny Phantom as well for shouting out the site, but that's where all that came from. Then we got $2,339.38 in Amazon sales. This is primarily going to be a bulk and a little bit of sealed product. Then eBay sales, miscellaneous video games and stuff like that, $391.47. Taken way slower approach with eBay. This is more my discipline not being there. I need to get a lot better about it. I have a ton of stuff that I could be selling on eBay and I need to be consistent with with it. I found that eBay works the best when you're consistently listing, consistently revitalizing old listings and going through it like that. So I definitely want to get back up on eBay. Uh, PayPal sales, 190.88. This is just like peer-to-peer -peer stuff. Um, no specific like what rhyme or reason. And then TCG player sales so far for the month, 695.64. So a total income of $6,307.60. And cost of goods, um, this category a lot smaller than normal. Business supplies, 313.19. So this is going to be boxes, tape, tape measure, bought some other stuff for the business to make it better uh, after the 2021 year. I did a lot of purchasing in that last week to try and lower the taxable income, um, stocking up on supplies, buying inventory, stuff like that. So $313.19 in business supplies so far. Then a cost of goods sold as a thousand five hundred sixty-seven fifty-eight. I believe that was just a few bulk purchases is mainly what that number was comprised of. Uh, and then operating expenses got $83.95 in shipping expenses. This is primarily going to be from pirateship.com. Uh, because everything else that I use goes through something else, um, like eBay or Amazon. Most of that shipping stuff is already on that platform. And then website fees, $40.83. This is going to be the domain for the labtcg.com and any other fees that uh, went with that. And then next month, it'll be Shopify. And then that leaves us with a net profit of $4,302.05. So that's the financials for this uh, quarter, or sorry, this month, January. A lot less going on. It's only the first month of the year, Q1. The sales have definitely slowed. Um, however, I did do my biggest month on Amazon. And like I said, that was about $9,000 in sales. Uh, profit way, way lower than that. But 
overall really happy with how where I'm at. I have a lot of cash that I can use. Um, I, d I want the Brilliant Star stuff to finalized so that I am ready for that but waiting on some big payouts from Amazon and going into March should have around ten thousand dollars to mess with and uh, invest in things new business ventures try out some stuff so I'm kind of looking forward to that stuff and uh, yeah it's gonna be fun and then overall feelings right now I'm kind of hit a low point really in motivation I need to get a lot better at this I uh, just had some you know very intense work weeks it's a lot to do both this uh, as much as I can and operate a job at the same time I'm also going to be going back to school online starting next week so I am a little concerned about how that's going to play into it but still consists still sticking to the plan want to upload at least one video a week and keep to that schedule run the business on my days off and then add school into it I've always been a pretty good student. I'm not expecting that to take up a ton of my time, but I will only know when it starts. So next week, we'll go ahead and see that. I'm going to try and get a degree in finance. Um, that's something I really like. I really like that subject. So that's it. Overall feelings. Bulk market going down definitely sucks, but I think I am much more prepared now for the following quarter four. It's going to be a ton of fun. I am expecting this year to be pretty good growth wise. And like I said, $75,000 is the goal for this revenue year. I hope we can do it. That'd be really cool. Maybe even hit hundred K revenue. That would be insane. So if you're watching this to the end, you're a real viewer of the channel, not just someone that found this in a recommendation link odds are, but I appreciate you either way. Thank you guys so much for, I think we're at 83 subscribers at this point. A lot of growth since that last small business check-in video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you need any business supplies, as always, links are in the description to all that stuff along with my website. If you ever have questions about running your own small Pokemon business, be sure to reach out to me at thelabtcg at gmail.com. With that being said, thank you all so much for the support. I've been Will with the Lab TCG, and I hope you have a great night. See ya.